Today I am making a video that I didn't necessarily think I would be making anytime soon, which is, did we choose a right floor plan when we bought our 2020 Unity FX? Well, if you haven't seen it, I made a video a few weeks ago on the pros and cons of all of the Unity floor plans. And that video will be linked right there if you have not seen it. But as I was making this, I was thinking, wow, I see some pros and cons that I might want to reconsider, right? I'm one of the very fortunate ones that got to actually walk into four or five of the different floor plans when we were shopping for a leisure travel van. And I got to see, I got to sit down, I got to feel what it was like to be inside of each one of those floor plans that we went in, right? So important. In fact, I was pretty adamant that we were going to get the twin bed just by watching videos. So as you know, the leisure travel van videos are some of the best in the industry they do an unbelievable job at marketing and so i was convinced it was going to be the twin bed but when we actually walked in it was a little small for me in fact the bed was too small for me i'm 6'2 and i felt really really cramped and so then we walked into an fx i said okay this one is it but as i was doing the video i got to thinking would i do this all over again well we'll find out right after this Okay, here we are. We've got the Murphy bed here, and we've got the FX right here. Now, as you know, like I said, I have the FX model. The reasons we chose the FX model was we wanted this large double living area and decided we could live with this small bathroom. Up here, as you can see, you've got a very large bathroom, but a small living area. So those are the things you're going to have to take into consideration. So the reason we did not choose the Murphy bed uh, was basically the one I walked into, the one I tried, what had these leisure lounges. Now, lots of people love these leisure lounges. However, one thing you have to keep in mind is it is the only seating and there is no couch that you can just come and plop down on, take a nap in where the dogs can get up there with you. So you have this seating right here with the FX. Look at all this couch space. This is showing it as a table right now, but this is actually a couch. It's a chaise lounge. It's this table. It's a theater seat. It's everything. This is a fantastic system. And this couch back here is also comfortable. So as far as living, you cannot beat the FX. But then let's get into the pros of the Murphy bed and the reason that I would consider getting a Murphy bed next time over an FX, which is... This window right here is one of those reasons. If you look at the FX, all along here, you can see there are no windows. There are right here, but that means the bed has to be down. In order for the bed to be down, the slide has to be out. So therefore, if you want any windows on this driver's side, the bed has to be down and the slide has to be out. Up here, you can see there's a nice, beautiful window right here the right over the kitchen in the Murphy bed. Second pro of a Murphy bed over an FX, like I said, this slide has to be out in order for this bed to come down. Well, the reason the slide has to be out, as you can see, the kitchen is right here and it's a lot wider right here than, it, than the Murphy bed is. This is a TV cabinet. It's thin. This bed can come down. Now you can't fold out the second section, so it's going to be a short bed, but it can come down. With this, you can put the slide out to about right there and get the bed down. But in order for the bed to be fully deployed, obviously the slide has to be out. So then again, the window is a big deal and the slide being able to lower the bed with the slide in, I think are the two big reasons that the Murphy bed trumps the FX. Well, where the FX trumps the Murphy bed is obviously this massive living area. Now then, these leisure lounges are actually an option. So, and most people get them, right? And here's what they look like. That's what they look like right there. Very comfortable. I've sat in them, but like I said, you can't just come in, plop down and take a nap, okay? Whereas with this right here, as you can see, it's a beautiful bed, chaise lounge, theater seating, bed. I mean, it's everything. So, right, it's a fantastic. So you can actually get this system in the Murphy bed. So you do not have to option in these leisure lounges and then you get the FX's excellent, excellently engineered, very ingenious 
couch system right here. So if I were to get the Murphy bed, I would not opt to get the leisure lounges. I would want this system right here. I would miss this couch, but I would love the window and I would love the fact that I don't have to put the slide out to get the bed out. So then that is basically it. Would I, what would I choose? It's neither here nor there. I'm happy with my FX. Or if I had the Murphy bed with the FX couch right here, I would be perfectly content with that as well. I think it's really going to have to come down to, is this window a big deal for you? Is a bathroom a big deal for you? Or is this couch a big deal um, for you right here? That's the whole situation. Second couch, big bathroom, and a window. That's basically it. And so I might choose a Murphy bed next time just to do something different. Like I said, we love our FX. You cannot beat all of this room that the FX has. But this uh, Murphy bed, I would love to have this window for cross ventilation and things like that. But anyway, so what would I choose? Well, if I got an FX, I wouldn't complain. If I got a Murphy bed, I wouldn't complain. I guess it didn't really help you. You got to decide on your own what's the most important thing to you. But either one of these floor plans, you can't go wrong. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you a little insight if you're trying to weigh back and forth between the FX and the MB about which one you would choose. But anyway, again, hit that subscribe button, give that thumbs up, and we will see you next time.